hi guys today I have my empties and same as every month I always think oh I'm not gonna have used up anything and then I run around and think oh my god <laughs> I've actually used quite a few things up and um, some of this stuff as I always say has been a few months in the making as to how I've actually used it if I haven't used it all within this month I just tend to switch things up a lot because I'm obviously a blogger and I do tend to try a lot of different things so I could have four or five different shower gels on the go at any one time and then it just so happens that two of them run out in one month. I haven't used these up at the same time but I have got two shower gels in here. One of them has pretty much been used up within the month and it's the Juicy Moisture Lily and Gardenia Shower Gel from Avon Naturals. This was one of the things that my grandma got me for Christmas. She always gets us toiletries. Um, she gives us kind of money and then a bag of toiletries that she's hand-picked for us. It's quite sweet. Um, and I haven't, I have had help with this. The kids have used this and Lee's used this as well. It's quite nice. Um, the smell was nice. Reminded me a little bit of sun cream. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's kind of Lily. Um, because I get that from a lot of perfumes as well. That sun cream kind of scent. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but this was quite a small bottle so that's that's been used up it was okay big sit shower gel I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it uh, and then I had this sugar crush from soap and glory not my favorite scent at all really want to try their new orange one but this one is not my favorite it smells to me like ice cream soda and I know it's got this kind of citrusy lime thing that people love but seriously couldn't smell more like ice cream soda to me I get that kind of citrus but there's just there's a creaminess to it that is just, I can't get away from. I really, it's not my favourite at all. I kind of lived with it, I pretty much used this myself. Um, and it probably took me three months to use it all up. Um, I, I love Soap and Glory bath washes. I think they're really good value for money, even though they are on the more expensive side. But no, didn't like this one purely because of the scent. Um, I've just used up a candle. Um, but I really, really love this one. This is the Yankee Candle uh, Wakiki Melon. Is it Wakiki? Am I pronouncing that right? Um, and I loved this. Oh, I actually blogged about this, and I buy a lot of candles, and I don't blog about them all. Um, but this one had to be blogged about, and I just loved it. I got it on sale. Did I get it? Oh no, I, I paid full price for this one. Usually I buy them from our local Hallmark outlet um, that sells them for kind of half price off season, but this was a summer candle, so no, I paid full price for this one. And I probably would pay full price again. I really liked this. It was a very true melon scent. Um, it wasn't synthetic at all. I'm not a big fan of kind of very, very sweet or very fruity scents, but this is lovely. I think I'm probably going to move on to the um, Market Peach that I bought in New York now. I have so many candles that I bought whilst we were in America that I was saving because I really didn't want to use them. And I'm going to start using them now because we are planning to go back to America next year. So excited already and we're talking a year away. Um, but fingers crossed because I'm like, ah, oh, I love it there. And Bath and Body Works, I I've had dreams where I've found myself in America unexpectedly. I know, it was a dream. And the first thing I do is like, I need to get to the first Bath and Body Works immediately because I need more candles. It's just an obsession, but yeah, I love that. And I would say that the same way that Market Peach people say it's that real true peach scent, that one is a real true melon scent to me. Um, Sanctuary Covent Garden. This is a brand that I've used a lot, brand I've spoken about a lot on here. This is one of my favorite products I've ever used from them and it's the Five Day Moisture Creamy Body Oil. The reason I like this is because it's got the texture of a lotion and yet it blends into your skin like blends, like it's a makeup, you know what I mean? It kind of, it, it spreads on your skin like an oil. It absorbs like a lotion, it doesn't go bitty, you can rub it. Um, you could use it kind of if you had um, like a muscle ache or something, you could use it to massage. Um, and it won't kind of, you know those rolly bits that you get if you over rub a lotion or a thick cream. You don't get that at all and you just feel so moisturised. You get all the benefits of an oil but without any of the extra greasiness and all the benefits of a lotion without any of the over rubbing rolly bits or, you know, it's just the, the most amazing hybrid product and I will definitely repurchase this but I can't get anything more out of that bottle which is annoying. I know I could cut it open etc but I have about a thousand other body lotions that I need to use so I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. Um, two face masks I used up this month and I actually ended up using them together. The Lush ones I find to be a little bit dry and I like to be able to put a face mask on and walk around the house. And I find with a lot of the Lush ones they kind of fall off your face. It, it's a little bit difficult to kind of be upright without it falling or crumbling and whatever. So as this um, got a little bit older and a little bit drier uh, and I only had a little bit left. I kind of squirted what was left of this one, which is the Pure Skin from Oriflame. Oriflame? Oriflame? Blackhead Clearing Mask. So I kind of mixed these two together because this is a bit more clay formula and it just helped adhere this one, which is the BB Seaweed. 
um, to my face. So I kind of ended up using the remnants of both of these together and it worked okay. I quite like mixing masks together that do different things. Um, the seaweed one, I liked it. I wouldn't necessarily buy it again. Probably the one that I liked the most um, that I've tried so far was the brazen honey but I hate the way it smells. That was the one that kind of did the most for my skin and I really liked the way that it felt. I liked the way it stayed on my face because of the consistency of it but I didn't like the smell of it so I probably wouldn't purchase it again. Um, but I'm due, I have quite a lot of these containers now, I think I'm due a new one. So if any of you want to recommend one for me, I've tried the Catastrophe Cosmetic, haven't tried the Cupcake, don't like the idea of the chocolate thing. Um, but there are lots of them I haven't tried, so tell me what your favourites one. Favourites one? Favourites are in the comments and I might go and buy that one. Um, another face mask I used, the Dead Sea Face Spa. This is a calming and cleansing fabric mask from Montagne Jeunesse. Pronunciation? I don't know. I think, I think they were going to change the name of that. I saw something recently that was like a campaign about what should we call ourselves because no one can say it. I don't know. I've never seen anything since, but it was like a year ago maybe. Um, and they were talking about changing the name, but I've never seen anything about it since. So if any of you know, let me know. Uh, this one was not that great. I really like paper masks at the moment because they're less messy. Um, and I just really like the idea of when you take it off, it's off and you put it in the bin and you don't have to worry about kind of scrubbing your face all that jazz, um, but this one wasn't really wet enough, so again the same issue that I have with the Lush masks, I had to lie down, which is just, who has the time to just lie down and not move at all? I'm always doing something when I have my face mask on, even if it's painting my nails, it doesn't have to be something productive. I could be sitting at my computer, I could be doing anything, I could be washing up, but I'm not laying down like this and not doing anything, so that wasn't ideal. I probably left, my, left it on my face for about three minutes because I couldn't stand the fact that it was all gaping and falling off, so I can't tell you whether it did anything. Won't necessarily be buying these ones again. Um, too thick, really, I think the problem was, and not wet enough, so not a fan of that one. And lastly, this is not necessarily empty, but I've definitely hit pan now, so I thought it was best to show you it while I've still got some product left to show you, um, and I'll try to remember not to mention this again when I actually do completely finish it. But this is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot um, facial powder, and it's pretty much white. I'll see if I can zoom in for you, because it's kind of not showing up as the colour that it is. Um, it's not totally white, but it's kind of a translucent powder. It's not. Let me see if I can get you something to compare it to. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a face powder. So compared to this, which is like an actual foundation face powder, it's very very pale. Um, and it is almost white pretty much when you get it, when you open it up and it's new. Um, whether or not it's got some kind of remnants of colour on it from other things, I don't know. Anyway, less about the colour, let's zoom out. Um, I really liked this. I've been using it more recently because I've been talking to you guys about different powders that I like, different ones that are good for oil control, and this one came up a lot in the comments, and I always said, well, you know, it's very, very powdery. It is, it's heavy. Um, and when you kind of swirl your brush in it, you can see all the powder flying around and it is very powdery on the face. However, after maybe an hour, if you're particularly oily, especially in the hotter months, um, after an hour it looks great and it really is good for oil control. It's not something for me that I would use to touch up with because immediately after using it, it doesn't look its best. But it's something that you could put on in the morning and then use something else that was a little bit more finely milled to touch up throughout the day. Um, but it is, it's a nice... It's a nice product, it is relatively expensive for the drugstore, I think there are other ones that I like more than this that will cost less. Um, Rimmel Stay Matte, 17 Miracle Matte, um, I think this is on the higher end, this might be around the £10 mark, just given the fact that it's Soap and Glory, I'm kind of guessing it's around that price. Um, but yeah, not, not the best thing that I've ever used, but it's definitely not the worst, it's just something that I would only use to set my makeup in the morning, not something I would touch up with. Um, but I will use the remnants of it. I just want to show you it whilst it still had some product left. So yes, they are my empties for the month. I'm now going to go and finish um, what's left of my coffee, which is probably getting cold now because I decided to film a video now instead of drink my coffee first. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to do a little bit of an update on the Style Any Size on Wednesday. So if you're interested in that series, you can see kind of what we're going to do with it moving forward because we're six weeks in now and we wanted to do a bit of an evaluation. Um, so you can see that video on Wednesday, and then on Friday I have no idea what video you're going to see. 
you'll just have to wait and see. I have no idea yet. I haven't filmed it and I have no ideas. So let me know what you'd like to see on Friday because I probably will wait until midweek to film that one. Um, and don't forget I have two other channels that I am filming videos for all the time. I have my Diary of a Spend Talent channel which is linked below. That's kind of all um, higher end products and style kind of videos. Um, outfits of the day, all that jazz. And then I have my vlog channel, which has been renamed. I've called it Kyla Talk now. That has daily life kind of vlogs. It has cooking vlogs. It has just me chatting to fellow YouTubers about various different topics. Loads of stuff over on each of those channels if you want to see more. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.